Hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Testimony Challenge um, 2022. Yeah. Um, last year, we were we did March Testimony Challenge. Mm. This year, it is in April. Uh, but this is day one, and we are so excited for the Testimony Challenge this year. Um, if you uh, were not a part of this last year, if you weren't able to join us, um, just a brief explanation about the testimony challenge is we are spending the entire month of April and we are sharing a testimony every single day. And we encourage you to uh, join us along this journey this month um, to think about all kinds of different things that the Lord has done in your life, all kinds of testimonies that you can remember of the Lord doing in your life and writing it down. Um, leave it, uh, send us messages, leave it in the comments. We had so much fun last year of people putting in the comments or sending us private messages of testimonies of what the Lord has done in their life. And so we invite you to join along with us as we are, are doing our testimony challenge this year. Yeah, I think I remember last year, we even did an entire day and we may do that this year of just reading the different testimonies that people have written that yes. wrote into us throughout the month. So this is day one. We're going to be doing this for 30 straight days. But uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, I don't care if you're one person and want to send us 15 testimonies. Just yes. mes message us and send us um, all kinds of ways that God has broken through in your life or, or other lives or through you or whatever that looks like. We would love to uh, to read that and share that with the world. And, uh, and so here we are in day one. It's day one. Yeah. And um, there's a reason we're doing it in April this year instead of March. And that is actually our testimony that we're going to share today is our very first testimony for our challenge is um, a testimony of something that happened in our lives yep. that we're excited to talk about today. So can we just jump, yeah, jump right it. in? Okay. So um, we... We're going to, she's uh, falling asleep right now, but um, so hopefully we'll be able to bring her on uh, in a few minutes. But uh, our testimony, our first testimony this year is about our daughter that was born in January of this year. And it was such a miracle. And we wanted to share the miracle story with you today. And it started uh, last year and I found out, uh, see, I think it was the beginning of June. I believe that we found out that I was pregnant and we were so excited and uh, we went to the doctor and they did an ultrasound and he, the doctor came back in the room and he said, I'm really sorry to tell you, but uh, we don't, we don't see a heartbeat and uh, just the way everything looks on the ultrasound, it doesn't look good. Or the baby. Or the baby there yeah. was there was yeah there was nothing there there was no heartbeat and um he just said it doesn't look good i don't like what i'm seeing and uh that day he said he said you have a 99 percent chance that you're gonna miscarry this baby um he said i just i don't see this happening and uh so i mean it was i mean kind of like a gut punch when we heard that and john's response was I think I looked at him and I said uh, so you're saying there's a 1% chance that this isn't true yeah and he said back to me uh, again want to make sure he's the nicest guy in the world and a believer but he said I'm, I'm trying to let you know that I'm not very hopeful about the outcome of this and I said but you're telling me there's a chance <laughs> that this won't happen and he said, I guess technically, yes. And I said to him, then that's okay because we believe in miracles and we're going to believe uh, that God does a miracle. And uh, immediately, it's kind of like the atmosphere shifted in the room and he stopped and he said, well, then can we pray right now? Yeah. And so we held hands, us and our doctor, and we prayed. He prayed for us that a miracle would happen. Um, uh, I don't know if you want me to continue. And then, you. yeah, so so he prayed, and um, it was just this this really neat time. I mean, this was the first time we had ever met this doctor. He was the second doctor we had gone to, and um, he it was to get a, a you know that second opinion, and um, for him to pray with us meant so much to us. And so we were kind of just discussing, okay, what what does this look like? And we were scheduled 
to leave to go out of town the next day uh, to uh, go to Texas for ministry with our friends uh, Bobby and Hannah Morrison and we had this they have this amazing event that they do every year it's a day of, of praise and worship and it's just wonderful so we were scheduled to head out the next day and so we talked to them about it of hey we're supposed to leave to go out of town tomorrow what what should we do you know how does this affect everything and he said um, you know he said the doctor in me would tell you you need to stay home and not go on the trip um, he said but kind of like the the believer in me uh, would say you need to go on this trip and um, he said you could sit at home essentially you could sit at home and just wait around for the inevitable for the miscarriage or you can go on the trip and just kind of get your mind off of it and keep yourself busy while you're waiting for it to happen and you know you just said like as long as you're near a hospital in case anything you know the whole medical thing and so we really prayed about it and we felt like no we really need to go we need to to go on this trip and so we had an amazing team with us that traveled with us and i mean we we prayed and begin to speak life over this baby. We prayed all the way to Texas. We prayed the entire time in Texas. We prayed all the way home from Texas. Um, we stayed overnight uh, on our way there and with a wonderful family. We had them pray for us when we got to Texas. Uh, we had Bobby and Hannah. We had, I mean, some amazing nights of prayer. And God, I mean, God just did amazing things on that trip as we began to just hold on to hope and faith and believe for that miracle. And um, so we made our way home. We got home and the, I think it was the very next day we were scheduled to go back to the doctor for another ultrasound. And so we go into the doctor's office and we're waiting in the waiting room. And I don't know how it's possible, but I'm here to tell you that you can be full of faith <laughs> and full of hope and believing for a miracle and also scared out of your okay. mind at the same time. Because, I mean, we sat in that waiting room and we were, we were, you know, full of faith, just believing for this miracle, but at the same time, I mean, just terrified of what, what they were gonna tell us at the doctor's appointment. So we before, got- Before yeah. that is uh, something that, I, that we forgot is the, the night before we left for Texas, I had a dream and in my dream, I could hear uh, our baby's heartbeat, but it was beating like a drum. And, uh, and I woke up and when I woke up, I heard the Lord say that that is your baby's heartbeat and it's beating to the war drums of heaven because heaven is fighting for this baby to live. And, uh, and, that was, and so then we left for Texas and we yeah. kind of left with that in our heart of, we're believing that that God is wanting to do something extraordinary here. Then I believe in Texas you had a dream, right? No, it was before we went also I had a dream where we could hear the baby's heartbeat. Yeah. And Separately. Yeah. And so we were just, you know, really holding on to that and believing in faith that God was gonna do something. So um so we, we get back, we're headed into the doctor's office, we're sitting in the waiting room and the ultrasound tech comes out and um which we absolutely love her mm -hmm. but uh she she came out and called our names and just kind of said hey guys you know let's go and because in their mind it was you know they were going to do an ultrasound and show that i had miscarried and so it was just kind of this somber moment and so we walked we walked back there and <laughs> we uh, she starts the ultrasound and she yells out, oh my God, there is a heartbeat. There is a heartbeat yeah. on this screen. I am looking at a heartbeat right now. And she said, I cannot believe this. I mean, she was just, I mean, we immediately, I think I was like burst out like in tears and laughing yeah. at the same time. It was just like incredible emotions. And um, she just said, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. And so she said, I've got to, she said, I've got to go actually print out these pictures because if I tell the doctor, he's not going to believe, he's not going to yeah. believe me unless he sees the proof. So she goes and, and prints out the, the pictures and she says, hold on just a second. 
And then she comes back and gets us and she says, I'm, I'm just going to take you guys straight to his office. Like he, he needs to see this. And it was, she was just beside herself. And so we follow her, we go and we sit in his office and we're waiting on him to come in to meet us in the office. And we hear their conversation, um, out in the hallway and, you know, you could hear her showing him or telling him and he's going, no, there's no way. And she's saying, no, like, look, look, I have the picture. And he, he looked at it and you could hear him rushing down the hallway. He bursts open the door and he comes in and he looks at us and he, he said, I've just witnessed a miracle. I have just witnessed a miracle. I cannot believe, believe this. And he began, he, he came over, he hugged us. He began to cry and he just sat there and held, held his, his head like this and he said I've just witnessed a miracle and he began to tell us he said I know I, I gave you I, I told you there was a 99% chance that you were gonna miscarry he said but he said in reality it was a hundred percent he said there was there's there's not supposed to be a baby there and there is and it was just this incredible yeah. incredible testimony of uh, of what God did in our lives I mean we still can't can't get over it. We still are just every day, just so grateful and so thankful for uh, our miracle work yeah. in God and and His great love. And it's just amazing. And we have a beautiful baby girl who was born January eighteenth, and uh, we're just we're in love with her. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll bring her on in a minute because I think she's asleep finally. Even if she <laughs> screams, it'll be you'll think she's beautiful. She's uh, but. Um, I just wanted, uh, we try to end every testimony. You know, it, it says in Revelations that the testimony of Jesus is as the spirit of prophecy. Yeah. In other words, uh, if God did it, then he wants to do it over and over and over again. And the opportunities Joanne and I have had since this miracle have happened, uh, just, it's funny how God works because I, I can't remember too many times before this miracle of having just random people in our life that are needing a miracle in the realm of a baby. And then out of nowhere, just these moments have happened, including about an hour before I got on here, I had a pastor locally call me and, and just said that his son's wife is pregnant with twins and they just did an ultrasound and one of the twins does not have a heartbeat and just called and asked if we would be praying. And, and it's just that this is what the Holy Spirit and God wants is he wants if he did it, then he wants to keep doing it. Yes. And we don't want to make the assumption like that those are watching that you either know someone or you are someone who needs a miracle in the realm of of a baby. And we just want to pray for you yes. that that life would come. And uh, and so we're going to do that real quick. But before that, let's bring Eloise in and just. Yes. Uh, <coughs> All right. We'll see. We'll see how she does. We'll see how she does. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah, so she's a. She's been sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. But this is this is our our miracle right here. This is our miracle. Yeah. And um, you know, it's uh <laughs> <clears throat> You know, this is what God does with uh a zero percent chance. And uh yeah. um and he is the God of the impossible. But my pastor friend I was just talking to on the phone, he said, you know, he's he's the God of the possible because everything is possible with him. Yes. And uh, and so this is the God of the possible get, that could take in human form what a doctor says is impossible. And then he can create life in yes. seven days. That's what he did from, from Wednesday yes. to a Thursday. So eight days is he created a, a complete miracle. Yeah. And... Uh, and I wish, I mean, this could have been an hour long testimony of just all the different, different yeah. <laughs> things. I mean, our friends, Bobby and Hannah were absolutely amazing during these eight days in contending with us and, uh, and there in Texas, but just even, even that God led us to a doctor who's a believer and, and even in his mind, there was no chance but prayed with us for a miracle to happen. Yeah. And uh, and so it's just incredible. So we want to pray for you, uh, yes. anyone watching, and, and that those watching will just contend with us for our friend who we, we need, uh, 
one baby, two babies in her womb, but we need one baby on Wednesday, which is the next ultrasound, for them to see a heartbeat. Yes. And we're going to pray for that, but also we want to pray just for anyone that's watching or that needs a miracle in this realm. We just want to release it. And so, yes. Lord, we just thank you right now that that uh, you that when miracles and testimonies are released, that a grace is released that wasn't there before for the miracle to happen. And God, right now we release in Jesus' name, one, first of all, to our friend, our friend's son and wife who need a miracle right now. Yeah. And we speak to that baby in the womb that they can't find a heartbeat. And we say, we tell the heart to start beating and come to life right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, we, we release the miracle and testimony of Jesus over them now. And Lord, anyone watching that needs a miracle in this realm, Lord, we release the miracle power of the testimony. Lord, that if you did it once, you want to do it over and over again. That's right. And Lord, we speak life to people that are that are needing a miracle in the realm of a baby right, right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And we just, we encourage you, um, just as we're doing these 30 days of testimonies, um, again, please uh, comment or send us messages. Um, one of send us testimonies we love reading your testimonies and two if you need a miracle it doesn't even have to be baby related but if you need any kind of miracle in your life yeah. in your body uh last year we did and this year you'll see over the next 30 days as uh we'll have uh testimonies of healing we're gonna have testimonies financial testimonies job testimonies yeah. Um, uh, just relational testimonies, every area of life. And so if you are in the next 30 days, if you're needing a miracle in your life, a miracle in your body, a miracle in your finances, whatever it is, please let us know. We would love to pray for you. You can uh, private message us. You can leave it in a comment. But we, we would love to pray for you and partner with you and believe for a miracle with you. So please send us your prayer requests. Send us your testimonies. And we just encourage you to join us on this journey uh, 30 days. It's 30 days of testimonies. Yeah. And and every day, just take take a few minutes every day and just remember one thing a day that the Lord has done in your life or that you've seen him do uh, through you, to you, around you. It doesn't matter. Just thinking about the goodness of God over these next 30 days. Yeah, I just... Uh, so. Just be tuning in. We'll be here tomorrow. We'll have another testimony. Yes. Uh, if, when we did this last year, momentum starts building. And as the month goes on, just more and more people just start getting excited and sharing testimonies. And we'll be sharing those. But also we'll be probably be bringing in live uh, uh, some friends that uh, aren't local and, and to share. And it's going to be fun. And yes. uh, we'll have some pre-recorded testimonies yes. of just the amazing things that the Lord has done there. You can see her eyes now. She just woke <laughs> up. But, uh, but yeah, so what a way to start off day one is, uh, is this amazing girl right here that yes. has an amazing destiny on her life. <laughs> and, uh, and we love you all so much. It's so good to see so many of you on here. I love seeing all these names. I know. Oh my goodness. I love doing this. I love being able to connect with friends and family from around the world. So please leave us, leave us comments, prayer yeah. requests, testimonies. We'll go back. It's hard to, uh, I can't read any of them from this far away, but we'll go back and read each and every one yes. and, uh, and look forward to connecting with you throughout the month. Love you. <laughs> Bye. See you tomorrow.